Hi everyone, Letty here from Party Planner Paper Re. I have another not too shabby shop quarterly release video. I'm gonna do an unboxing and a quick project share. We're gonna do double tea pack holders. So welcome back everyone. I'm on the design team for the Not Too Shabby Shop for this term. Here is their logo. I'll list a website affiliate link down in the description box below. We do have a brand new quarterly release that just came out from the Not Too Shabby Shop. It comes with two paper pads. There's two coordinating ephemera packs. There's three stamp sets, one of which is a six by six stamp set. So it's a large one. And then we've got two regular size stamp sets. We also have some enamel dots. So this is again, hashtag N2S Cottage Charm. This is the brand new release from not too shabby the first paper pad is called simply spring it has 24 total designs six by six papers so because it's double-sided you're going to get two of each design but you have just a ton of options look how gorgeous this is i think this is one of my absolute favorite paper collection my paper pads from not too shabby probably of all time it's just so gorgeous it's perfect for spring it's perfect for easter it's perfect for just i mean any it's just gorgeous 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 look at this super super gorgeous you've got burrs and bunnies and florals S simply spring you do have a coordinating ephemera pack and it is also stunning wait till you see this one so again it's called simply spring i'm gonna do a still shot i'm gonna include a still shot here of everything that comes in it look at these gorgeous girls and the butterflies and the cameras and just it's so so pretty and then you also have beautiful blossoms this one only has 12 designs which means you'll get double of each one 24 total sheets of double-sided paper this one's more of like a tea party theme you've got tea parties and like cherry blossom you know images really really pretty as well so beautiful blossoms there and then you've got the coordinating ephemera pack and you've got a lot of really fun tea elements in this so beautiful blossoms is what it's called here's another still shot of this one so again you got tea cups and and cherry blossoms and some little circles and things and bows and really fun we have three stamp set one of which again was a, a six by six which is cherry blossom background so it's a larger stamp it's a six by six you've got a lot of projects you could do with this big really big stamp set right here so really pretty and then you've got two regular size stamps these are four by six stamps first one's good morning so we have the tea party theme sort of continued we've got some cute sentiments birds butterflies florals a teacup a uh, pitcher uh, and also a tea kettle or teapot so really cute and then you've got cup of tea another stamp set and again you've got some more birds and teacups just different images um, also lots of sentiments lots of really good sentiments on this one hello sweet friend there so you've got a bunch of really really fun and great sentiments here um, on both sentiment on both of these stamp sets actually so you've got three awesome stamp sets there and then we do have a pack of coordinating enamel dots so this is cherry blossom spring cottage and these are glitter enamel dots so really pretty there as well these will coordinate with both paper pads which is awesome so he, these are all of the items that are coming out in this uh, quarterly release these are some of the items i'll be using today again from the not too shabby shop let's go ahead and dive into our project so before I do, let me just show you, I had made these three cards on a previous video. I'll link it at the bottom in the description and I'll try to link it at the end, but otherwise it'll be in the description box below. So I today am using the beautiful Blossom 6x6 paper pad, the coordinating ephemera pack, as well as the cup of tea stamp set for this little tea time sentiment and then the little heart. And so those are the three items I'm gonna be using for today's project. And today we're making a double tea pack holder. So this is a super easy but super cute project to make. You can store two packs of tea in this little holder. Um, and so you see here, I've got two packs. I'm gonna stick one in the front. So you've got a slot for the front section and then you also have one in the back. So this is just a cute little treat idea that you can either give to somebody, you can sell. These are great craft fair items. I make and sell a ton of these whenever I do participate in craft fairs. So you see here, it has just a little double-sided. I am adding some ephemera on both sides. I did just for sort of decor, I added the little extra string and made it look almost like a tea bag here. You do not have to do that piece, but you can also package it up very very easily and again use it for either gifts or craft fairs or sales pop-ups any kind of you know event where you want to get sell them um, that is definitely an option and they have just such cute presentation and again you're able to give two teas away in this little one little treat holder so I have all of my supplies today to make this I'm going to show you how to cut your one sheet of paper I also have six inches or about six inches of twine that I'll be using I have a sentiment for the front a couple of pieces of ephemera 
as well as one additional little scrap strip that was about one by two and a half. I folded it in half. I made little tags on the edges and then stamped the two, uh, the little heart on both sides, on the front and on the back, just like this, opposite sides, just to make like the little tea bag handle that you normally see on a tea bag. So again, this is just a cute little fun project. Again, here you see this twine we're using is about six inches plus one sheet of six by six paper. I'm also bringing my Tim Holtz tiny attacher just to kind of make some little staples on this project. I thought it would just be really cute. The scale would be perfect. So that's what I'm doing on this as well. You also will need a score scoreboard and a bone folder. So I have mine and the larger one does work better. So what you'll do is take your six by six sheet of paper and with the longest edge, fold it over to where you have, again, not like in half, but you're gonna fold it along like one corner to another corner. So we're basically gonna make a triangle just like this. So I'm just folding it in half and you're gonna really wanna enforce it with your bone folder. Then what we're gonna do is score. We're gonna put that folded edge to the left-hand side and we're gonna score at one half inch all the way down. And so again, if you're using a bigger scoreboard, it would be easier. I'm using a smaller one, so I'm just gonna rotate my paper. And then what you're gonna do is make sure that you enforce all of those score lines. So now you should have a fold in the middle plus one score on both the left and the right. So three lines right down the middle of your, your six inch paper. So then the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and um, just make sure we're really, really creasing those edges because then we're gonna take and put on the folded side of paper and put it along the scoring edge so we can score down. So we're gonna score it at two and three fourths and five and five eighths. So you're basically gonna score on both ends the exact same with, that way you leave a little pocket right on the inside for your tea bag. So again, I'm gonna score at two and three quarters. Now, because I am using a small scoreboard, I'm just gonna rotate and score it also again at two and three quarters on both sides. So just a really quick, quick little cheat there. So you're gonna wanna just make sure you fold and enforce all of your score lines. And this step is crucial. You definitely wanna spend some time to fold and unfold all of those score lines, make sure that they they are, uh, the, the, your paper has already adjusted to all of those scores. And so you can use your bone folder for this. Some of it, especially if you have thicker paper, it might be a little bit more challenging, but you just wanna make sure you have all of those scores folded. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose which pattern we want and then go ahead and fold and glue in the two little sections or the section right in the middle, right here in between your edges where you have all those little score lines, just the, the little score lines right in the middle, glue it down and press it into the middle section. So you've got, remember those three original lines that we had, we're only gonna add glue to the two sides, not right in the middle, and then fold it over to form your pockets, your double pockets. And so we're gonna just fold it over, make sure you add plenty of glue and then just hold it down, give it a second to dry. Once it has dried, you see here, you have the double pocket on both sides, but what we're gonna do is turn it into a cute little treat that looks like a little tea bag. So we're gonna fold it on each of those scores. So we're gonna go ahead and fold and enforce, and then we're gonna pop up that middle score, which was our original fold, and kind of have it pointing up right in the middle, and then again, enforce the other side as well. So it's gonna end up looking like a little W on the inside, you see that little W. And so then what we do is we have the two ends that we're gonna go ahead and put together. Now, I, this is where my Tim Holtz tiny attacher is gonna come in hand, but before I staple it, I'm gonna add my little piece of twine and then go ahead and staple it. Now, you could also just use some glue to glue these two tips together. Um, you've got a lot of options there but I'm gonna just go ahead and use my little tiny attacher here to staple it. Now I am gonna go ahead and staple with the staple teeth sort of pointing to the front because I know I'm gonna cover it with one of the pieces of ephemera. So my smooth side is gonna be actually on the back. And that was something that I learned as I did the first one. Then I realized, oh, I don't want the little teeth to be pointing out. So I went ahead and stapled them with the teeth pointing to the front so that way I could cover it with a piece of ephemera. Now let's staple the little tag, which is gonna make like that little tea bag holder. And so again, that was just like a one by two and a maybe like half inch little piece of scrap white cardstock that I folded in half and then I trimmed it to look like a little tag. I'm just gonna staple it with the little twine right in between the two ends. And that is our the base of our foundation. The last step is just to decorate. So I am gonna take these pieces of ephemera and this sentiment and I'm gonna just glue them down on my little treat holder here. So I'm gonna start with a little sentiment, glue it at the bottom and then just add a few extra pieces of of ephemera on both the front and on the back. So this is such an easy project and this is one of those ones that you can mass produce. Uh, you take a, 
a, a six by six paper pad and you can break it down and make a ton of these. I used to break these down and make a ton for uh, craft fairs and they were great sellers, let me tell you. And they're also really cute little gifts. So they're great to give. It's a small little gift, great for stocking stuffers around Christmas time and things like that. So this is just a cute little fun tea themed one. Now I'm only adding glue to the area behind the ephemera that wasn't gonna be exposed. And then what I'm doing with my fingers right here is just double checking to make sure that I don't have any glue that sort of is exposed. And if so, I need to wipe it off. And that's just because I don't want to seal this pocket closed with the ephemera piece. So again, just add your glue to where the area is behind the ephemera that's actually gonna be touching the holder. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and staple this little bitty bow that came in this ephemera pack to the top to hide that back of my twine. And so that's our cute little holder. Now I'm gonna add one more piece of ephemera on the back. Um, and that's only because I am gonna put two tea bags in this one on both the front and on the back. You see here, I'm putting my thumb where I don't want to add my glue. That's another little trick you can use is position your ephemera on where you want it and then figure out where you need to put your thumb and then put your thumb and then add the glue on all the rest. And then again, make sure you don't have any glue. You can use your bone folder just like I just did to make sure you don't have excess glue. So again, this was a double tea pack holder for our project today. So here's the second one. I have it kind of packaged up here. That's what it would look like. So it's such a cute project. So just to recap, we have the quarterly release from the Not Too Shabby Shop and it came with two paper pads, two ephemera packs, three stamp sets, one of which is a six by six, two are four by six stamps and a coordinating enamel dot set. And so today's project was a double tea pack holder. This is a perfect little gift where you can store two tea, tea packs, one on the front, one on the back. I made mine look like a little tea bag. You can Oh, uh, omit adding the additional piece of twine and just have a cute little uh, tea treat holder. Um, you could also package this um, and these are great for craft fairs or gifts or just about anything. And they're so versatile, you could use any kind of paper. And then again, I have my previous project, which I'll link down below. And I do have an affiliate link to Not Too Shabby. So if you want to make a purchase, feel free to use that link. It helps me at no cost to you. So thanks so much for watching everyone. Make sure you check out that hashtag N2S Cottage Charm. So that way you can get all the inspiration from the design team that are using this this quarterly release. I hope this was able to give you a little bit of inspiration and as always, happy crafting.